you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you're new here, today we are going to be doing another grocery haul. I have a lot of stuff this time. And nothing really to go as for recipes. But I told you in one of my other videos that I could maybe do a video off of my grocery hauls on exactly what I do in a month or what we eat in a month of like staples um, that people usually get. So a couple things that we usually get is like yogurts and different things. So that's kind of what this is all about. It's just mainly our food that we haven't had for part of the month. And then it's just things to get us through more or less half the month. And then um, like you guys seen, I try to do one at the end. This has really been working for us to do it this way. This just saves on time for me to run back and forth and always get groceries. So we have enough storage right now for us to do bulk orders and store it for like meats and stuff. So today I have a good variety of things and things that we can use for certain things and meals and stuff like that. But I don't have any like special meals planned this time. Um, and I need to go on and just do that, but I have the meat to do things if I need to. So I'm gonna start on this side first and work my way over there. This is gonna be a big one this time. So I just have to laugh because I'm just like, sometimes I'm just like, where are we gonna put all this stuff? In? But we do have room, so it should be, it should be okay. So, okay, so right here, I will go over like our dairies and um, yogurts and treats and stuff. So I have sour cream. I don't always get this, but we make tacos enough to have this. I have our vanilla yogurt that we go through quite a bit. Um, if you guys have seen in other grocery hauls, I do get a lot of these Chobani uh, yogurts, the flip. I like these. Um, we have s'mores, and I think they substitute it. It's a Walmart pickup order, too. I forgot. I always forget to tell you guys that. Sorry. Um, but I try to leave that in the title, too. So they substituted the flip for, or the s'mores for the key lime pie ones. And then we always get the almond coco loco because we really like them. And I think that's the only ones that I have. If you guys haven't tried these, these are really good. So I think you guys would really like it. I have two things of Gogurt. My kids like these, but they don't um, eat them really fast. So these are kind of like a good thing to have in the house when they just want something. So we have strawberry, cherry, and berry bounce very bounty and this one is star wars and this one is what is this one oh they just have different designs on their on the little containers and stuff so that's kind of cute okay one of the things that i did order was the caramel starbucks we usually get the star the caramel one and they didn't have it so then i just said forget that um, I did run into the store and this is all they had. So they only have vanilla, but I will be putting in an Amazon order and I will get our coffee off of Amazon then. Um, we have the Tarani Caramel for our coffee or cold brew coffee. If you guys want the recipe to the cold brew one, I do have a video um, and we do use a Ninja coffee machine. If you guys want the recipe, it's really, really good. So it's kind of like a McDonald's caramelized coffee uh, recipe. So just let me know. Um, we go through Nutella quite a bit. They put this, I always tell you guys, we put this on a tortilla wrap or a wrap, put a banana in there with this. And I'm sure you could add other things to it too. And that's what my kids eat, so. That's for that. Um, this is new. I never got this before. This is the mixed fruit in these little containers. So I only got a couple of them because if my kids don't like them, um, then I didn't kind of waste money on that. One thing of Oreos. Um, we get these every once in a while. Um, 
I'm surprised I didn't get more, but I did get them four packs of these white donuts. Um, and I don't remember the last time that I got them these donuts, but they like them. Um, I have some Parmesan cheese. We add to our salads and spaghetti. I have the Kobe Monterey Jack, some mozzarella, Fiesta blend, and the mozzarella I got because we're going to make a homemade pizza. And then the Kobe Jack we put in wraps and just eat it with sriracha. And then Fiesta for our tacos. I got garden or olive garden croutons. I got two of them this time because my kids just started eating them out of the package. And I didn't have any for my salad. So them are really good. And then we always get the olive garden dressing for breadsticks and our salad. What else did I have? Oh, another thing for a treat, I got some M&Ms. We usually get this, and this is what we add to our yogurt. So we get the, the vanilla great value kind, and then we just put a couple of them in there for them. Instead of buying them packs all the time, the packs that come with the M&Ms can get kind of pricey, so we don't always get that. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I got them a pack of the fruity snacks. I think this is the kind that my kids like. It kind of is like a little jelly inside. I'm not sure, but I think that's the one that they like. I got some sunflower seeds for our salad. Um, and the kids just like eating that as a snack also. Um, if you guys know, I have we have our own chickens here, so we don't always... Um, Hard, use them for hard boiled eggs the last time i bought two packs of 18 eggs and i used them for hard boiled eggs and i do have a video coming out that i'm you might see this video first before you see that video or that video first i'm not sure yet but i have a little video on how to use your pot for hard boiled eggs okay so as for cans we are running low we have a lot of cans on our shelf um, and eventually I'm going to have an organization shelf redo. I don't know. It's just kind of got a little overdone out there. We have them stored outside in the garage and I need to just do a video for you guys and organize that. That would be kind of fun to watch. So we had, I needed to get some corn. I have three things of olives. I should actually buy like 10 cans of olives because we just eat them out of the can or, you know, on salads or whatever. I need to get some more of them. I have three things of spaghetti sauce. Cause like I said, we're gonna make homemade pizza. I'll show you what I have for the homemade pizza. I have some things that are a little different than we usually use. I have th three things of spaghetti sauce we usually get the great value kind or the ragu i think it is so i have three of them if uh, to be honest we should probably have a lot of these too because we go through a lot of spaghetti but hopefully maybe this year i can learn how to can some spaghetti sauce we'll see we'll see all right so pineapple we have three things of pineapple um, the problem with us when it comes to like fruit in a can, if we were to have this for a meal, we would almost need like four cans. And so sometimes this isn't even like covering one meal. So that's why we try to buy bulk and everything or a little bit more than maybe most. Um, two cans of whole tomatoes. This is what we use for our salsa. I have listed it in other videos, but if you guys are interested, I can give that to you. The salsa recipe is so good. Um, I have our Rotel because we add this to our salsa also. So I have four cans of Rotel. This gives us two batches of salsa. I have one two I think two cans of pears i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and oh another can 
12 cans of mandarin oranges because we go through a lot of mandarin oranges. Um, I have another can of pineapple. So there we got that. I have one, two, three, four cans of, five cans of whole, whole potatoes. I recently started um, using the potatoes and then adding peas to it. I don't know, for some reason, me and Miles like that. So it was pretty good. <laughs> um, but sometimes it's just easier to do this. We have a couple bags of potatoes, but sometimes it's just easier for us to do that. Um, some of the nights that we have to quick go places or do things, then um, it's nice to just have that. All right, so I have three things of butter that is salted, and then I have one unsalted if we need that. I have six things of breadsticks, and that's because we go through a lot of breadsticks. So I think it's like two or three at a meal. I think it's three at a meal. And then with that Italian um, Olive Garden uh, dressing to go with that. So that's super yummy. Um, I have two bags of famous seasoned fries. I have four things of waffles. You guys should already know if you've watched my videos in the past, um, we eat waffles almost every single day for breakfast. I don't know. We used to eat eggs every day for breakfast and then all of a sudden it kind of switched this with strawberries on top and stuff. So, all right, so I have root beer because we're gonna be making some root beer floats and I have my Dr. Pepper. I have two things of Sprite. I have four things of milk. We go through two or three two things of milk a day, I think it is. So we go through quite a bit of milk. I have ice cream. I don't always buy ice cream. Hardly ever do I buy ice cream, but we are gonna make root beer floats, so I have that. Here's our strawberry toppings that I will be adding to our waffles. And then when they, they're frozen when we get them, and then when they throw out, um, Lauren puts that on his cereal, or we just add it to our waffles, or the kids sometimes just eat it off to the side. I have a bunch of pizzas, so I have cheese pizza, two cheese pizza, um, two pepperoni pizzas. Here's our pizza crust for our homemade pizza. Um, I have a home run. This is what Hudson prefers. Um, I have a rising crust one. And last video, I think I said that I was gonna tell you guys if we liked it, and we liked that one. That one was pretty good. We always get red, bear, uh, red, yeah, Red Baron, and that was a pepperoni and a cheese. So we have that. Um, I have a whole bag of chicken nuggets, popcorn, chicken, and chicken tenders. So what my kids do, they just roll them up in a wrap and then they eat it with sriracha. Some, some of my kids eat it with sriracha and uh, shredded cheese. And then I have another bag of chicken strips. So we have enough for our lunches with that. I don't always get this, but my kids really like it. It's the chicken and cheese um, little wraps. So they like them and I only get one of them because we don't always go through them you know, fast enough. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chicken pot pies. My husband likes to eat these and some of the kids like it too. So I got a, a bunch of them. A bag of pizza rolls. We got mint chocolate chip. I think this is, yeah, great value mint chip. I have two of them, because last time I bought one, my kids um, ate it like too quick because they're such a small container. So I needed to get another one. All right, so then we have honey bunches we like, cinnamon toast crunch we like, fruit loops we like. And then I got a little package of mixed cereals um, for the kids to have. I have two bags of the party size Scoop. This is what we eat our salsa with. And then we have Declan who likes these potato chips. And then if we make some sloppy joes, then we have it with our sloppy joes. Um, and then some Doritos because we eat Doritos quite a bit. 
If you guys, um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys call them sloppy joes or hot tamales or tamales. I know that's always been a thing. So I just want to know in the comments down below what you guys call it um, in your area. So I know we all have our own saying when it comes to that. Um, I think it's so funny though. All right, so a pack of popcorn shrimp. Um, classic corn dogs um, only a couple of my kids will eat that so I have that okay so I got a frozen key lime pie uh, brown and serve maple sausage links some frozen corn I think we have more of these out in our freezer but I just wanted to get a couple more two packs of taco shells I should actually buy more of these but we don't have a lot of storage in our house when it comes to food versus out in the freezer so I only got two of them and then I have three packs of the fudge mint great value if you guys are interested in um, like mint cookies from like Girl Scouts or whatever, we actually found that we really enjoy these and they're almost similar. So we put these in the freezer and then we just pull them out when we want some. And they're only a dollar. I think they're like a dollar at Walmart. I'm not, I can't remember. Um, I got two things of toasted strudels, strawberry. Um, on the Walmart pickup, they only give you certain selections. So, you just kind of got to pick if you want something like a certain kind or whatever you got to go in um and then my wraps because we always go through wraps like crazy frozen bananas because of the smoothies that we just made recently they were so good so if you want the recipe to that i have that also that also was in some of my other videos bacon bits for our salad and then i have two packs of hot dogs I have some, this is the buffalo chicken. We will be adding this to our salad. So sometimes we'll just get sandwich meat and then just add it to our salads. I have two things of hot dog buns and hamburger buns. Yeah, two things of hamburger buns, one thing of hot dog buns and two loaves of Italian bread. And I can use that for our sandwiches and then for garlic bread. I have two bags of fresh spinach. So we add that to our spinach smoothies. I have two packages of pizza crust. This is what I was telling you about. So we will be making pizza with that. I have mild chili packs because I make chili um, m like a lot more in winter time but um, so I just got a couple packs so we have them we always have a lot of packs of taco seasoning packs just because we have a lot of tacos I have three things of the whipped cream um, we use this for our waffles and then our iced coffee I have two things of cheese. We have the jalapeno and the mild. Um, I have one, two, three, four pounds of hamburger. And then I also have a large thing of hamburger. I have four things of bacon, one roast, and then a package of chicken. Okay, so one of the things with the roast, what I like to do is I put it in our crock pot and then I just put some seasonings on top and I put a can of Dr. Pepper in there. I have two things of bananas because we are adding that to our smoothies. I have two onions. I add this to our salsa and our chili. I have a whole bag of cuties. Um, we recently just got some birds from my daughter and my son for my birthday and I noticed that they can have some oranges so I got some oranges for them too. I have a whole thing of watermelon. I have the just a regular bag of shredded lettuce, some romaine lettuce, um, package of grapes some cauliflower and broccoli for our salads. 
I have shredded carrots for our salads. I have a bunch of jalapenos for our salsa. And then lime for our salsa. And I made chicken tacos on one of my other videos. Um, and I needed lime, so if I make that again, I will be um, using that. And then some avocado for our salads. Um, cucumbers, and then Miles likes to add some seasonings and stuff onto that. Okay, so then I bought two things of, two packages of apples, and we usually get honey crisp. Okay, so I think that is everything for our grocery haul. Um, I think that was it. So I will uh, either leave the total in the description. You guys can check that out. And if you want any recipes that I talked about today, just leave me a comment and I can uh, give you a link to all that or the recipe um, in the comment. So I think that's pretty much it. All right, so I think I covered everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If you guys want any of the recipes that I talked about today, just leave me a comment and I will get that to you guys. Otherwise, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.